today we're going to make ham fried rice. But instead of using rice, we're going to use cauliflower. So first thing, I'm going to take all this cauliflower off the head and grate it into rice. Miss some. How did I miss some? I don't know. Okay, so once it's all grated, that's what it looks like. This grated cauliflower. And you can put some of those stems in as long as you grate them, that's fine. All right, so you just set the rice aside. I've got four eggs in here. I'm just whipping them up because you need these ready because it cooks really fast. So you want to make sure your eggs are ready to go. I just whip them up. All right, and then I use eight slices of budding ham and then I just cut it. In little pieces, however you want to cut it. This is how I do it. I guess you could put whatever meat you want in. This is just the ham we have, but you could do probably ground sausage or pork or whatever, or shrimp, shrimp fried rice. But this is, this is what we have and we like this one. Okay, and then I just use the large skillet, turn it to medium, and put a little bit of olive oil. I don't measure, so I'm sorry. There's a little bit of olive oil. I don't know how much. Like maybe two tablespoons, maybe? I don't know. Close enough, about two tablespoons. Get that nice and hot, and then we'll add in the cauliflower rice. Okay. So I just dump all the cauliflower in. And then I just stir it to kind of coat it with the oil. And then I add some garlic salt. This is the kind I used. You could put real garlic if you wanted, and I just, a little bit of garlic salt. And then some ground ginger. And I just, you know, put it in there like that. And I may put more at the end. I just put so much in and then I taste it after to see if it needs more. And then, oh, it smells so good. <laughs> and then we add some sesame seeds. A little bit of this, maybe like a half a teaspoon, just a little for flavor. A little bit of soy sauce. This, you definitely will be adding more when you get ready to eat it. It just depends on how much you like. And then you just kind of stir it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good.
and put some more soy sauce in there. Oh my gosh, we're almost out of soy sauce. No, we have to run to the store. I think we have enough for dinner, but then we're gonna definitely need more soy sauce. All right, so you're not cooking this till the cauliflower is mushy. It's still gonna be a little cooked, like no, a little, uh, oh, the word? Uh, a little firm. So once it gets to about this, you can taste it and you'll know what I'm talking about. So it's cooked for like maybe about five minutes, if that. And you're gonna scoot everything out to the edge. Actually, wait, I forgot the ham. <laughs> Just kidding. So after it's cooked about five minutes, you add in the ham and just kind of stir it in there. Silly me, I forgot the ham. Okay, so once you get the ham in, then you're gonna, you're gonna move everything out and create like this circle in the middle. Sorry. So you're gonna move everything out just to the edge of the pan. All right. And then, just a little bit of oil in the middle. And you're gonna add your eggs there. And then you wait. You don't stir them into the rice. You leave them in the middle. And then you can start to move the middle to see it's not quite cooking up yet, but it's getting there. Patience. You can add a little bit of salt to your eggs if you want. Okay, I can hear the eggs cooking. So then you're not gonna touch the part by the rice. You're just gonna scrape from the middle to pull the egg in, to cook in the middle. Can you see the egg like solidifying, cooking underneath there in the middle? That's how you end up with your egg through the thing. There you go. You wanna make sure these eggs are all the way cooked before you mix them into the rice. And there's a little bit that went right next to the edge of the rice. You can just kind of pull that in. It'll be fine. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And just scrape it. This is my favorite pan, but you could use a wok or whatever. Okay, once your eggs are all the way cooked, then you just mix in everything. You could add green onions. I don't wanna buy any today. You could also add peas and carrots, but then you're adding in a lot of carbs and you already have a couple carbs from the cauliflower. So it just depends on 
how low low carb you want to go but there you go and then when you serve it you add a little bit more soy sauce on top and there you go ham fried rice keto style <laughs>